Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Fate of the Dice Presents Strixhaven. Uh, I'm Dom, the DM, and joining me tonight are Brett, Charlotte, Dazrock, Golgan, Kiri, and Toka. Who'd like to go over what happened last time? I will. Thank you. So, last time we did our practice run of the Wizard Tower games, established some rules regarding spellcasting. And upon completion, we were attacked by a couple of chimeras where several of us nearly died. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, had another test where we had a few more complete failures. Meaning that I believe Golden and someone else now have two yeah. tests we have to yeah. make up. <laughs> I remember I refailed my last test but i passed the, the newest oh that was one, it yeah so... you, you got that one to do yeah I mean, yeah. yeah kiri kiri failed last time didn't she as well yeah <laughs> and charlotte has been absent for most of the year so she needs to take oh, at least two <laughs> job, that's what i need to do <laughs> <laughs> um just one other thing to mention if you remember after your exam you were uh, the professor asked you to try and find a book for him Yeah, you remember that bit? Yeah, because <clears throat> that's going to become oh, important yeah. this week. <clears throat> uh, but to start us off, we've got a, a, a quick thing to do. So uh, a few days after you've taken that exam, you notice a, a commotion coming from uh, near Bow's End Tavern in the late afternoon. Um, one of the uh, one of your fellow students runs up to you and goes, "Hey, friends! Tulk's drained the retention pool behind the tavern for cleaning tomorrow. For a few hours, we've got a perfectly smooth, empty pool. You know what that means? Major's skate park, baby! Come on, let's see who will pull the wildest move and win the prize purse." And uh, she'll say that the, the, the purse is two hundred and fifty gold pieces. I, mean, I think we all know how these sorts of uh, things go. Yep. So, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to go off to Bo's End Tavern. <laughs> Look, you be skating in your pool, uh, Brett. <laughs> oh, I'm not skating. I'm reporting, <laughs> and may and I may or may not sabotage. <laughs> well, I was the one who worked in the tavern, and you worked in the cafe. Oh, is it that way round? I work in <laughs> the cafe. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, so yeah, sorry. Tucker works in the tavern. I got it the wrong way around. Uh, are you happy to go over there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Okay, so blood. yeah. <laughs> Behind the tavern, several groups of students cluster around an empty pool, laughing and waving improvised skates made from wooden planks with wheels affixed to the bottom. The empty pool is made of smooth stone and set about 30 feet into the ground. The tavern's back door is propped open. Uh, one of the students, Nora, runs up to you and goes, We were hoping you'd turn up. See these skates? On their own, they're pretty difficult to use, right? But check out this training wand from spellcasting ca spell class. Someone figured out that a skater can use the wand to help pull, off, uh, help pull off the sweetest tricks. What better way to try it out than a contest? There are bets going around and the crowd is sure to take your side. Want to pull off some wild moves? And you see Lusk grinning at you skating past and he's just got one giant skate on his snake tail. <laughs> Triple! Oh, wait. Oh, I've got a question, Dom. Does Lust yeah. have, did Lust ever figure out that I influenced him in the last contest? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't do anything for it. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just no, he has no him. idea. <laughs> I'm just keep tormenting him my whole time in the school. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. We have that, a new that's mission in life. Plan. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the way that the skate-off works is there's a prize of 250 gold pieces for it. Everybody wants to take part, needs to make a single ability check, and you can choose either strength, dexterity, or intelligence. Sorry, you can choose either athletics, acrobatics, or arcana. <laughs> and whoever gets the highest ability check wins. So we'll do it in... may as well... Do it in order. Oh, uh, well, and he's I, already gone. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Golgan's already gone. Uh, let me do one for Lus. 
Mosaic and athletics, arcana and acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sorry, arcana. So, <laughs> someone has to beat eleven to beat less. Oh, I can beat a lot. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, just just go for it in any order you fancy. You know how these things go. So. <laughs> Uh, Tuck is acrobatic, yeah, Tuck is in the lead. We just need a Kiri, I think, don't we? Oh, and a Brett, if Brett's... <laughs> Kiri's falling over. <laughs> Kiri's high on drugs. <laughs> Uh, right, I guess it's 17. Yeah, yeah, I saw the 12. Yeah, that's cool. Talisman? So the, yeah. Oh, yeah. For 21. For 21. Then, I believe I have something else I can do. I'm pulling out all the stops to try and beat Tucker's display. Yeah, what? Well, uh, let me pull up my memories. Mm -hmm. I believe I have something that allows me to do a bonus to our karma. This computer hates me because it's not letting me see the whole screen. Because they're saying there's a graphics performance notification. It will not let me. I have to be on my laptop. I do not have anything else to add. Okay, no worries. Well, it was still very impressive, but not no, yeah, not quite enough to be. On last time? Oh. Oh nope! I was on the wrong one. Okay. Do I have something for? Her? No, I do not. Never mind. Okay, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Taka does the most amazing tricks there, and she wins and gets two hundred and fifty gold pieces. Ooh! And just in case you hadn't guessed, um, I've moved you onto the Bow's End Tavern map, but you're generally supposed to be like around the back. If you want to move yourselves around a little bit around that area, go for it. Uh. My computer point the graphics for roll twenty. Uh, refresh it. Use a different uh, browser. I did. I did it saying uh, hmm. graphics error. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, you put yourself in there, but everything's going to happen out the back. So yeah, talk review. or just want to stay in there and have a drink. You can do. But everything that's about to happen just happens out of the back. Yeah. I heard you say something about, oh, I'll put you here. Well, oh, okay, so we're going to move yeah. in then. Okay, so um, so the crowd roars as Tucker has announced the winner. A student waves the wand in celebration, and shockingly, a thunderous clap echoes from it. Your fellow students quiet in confusion. Suddenly, a creature erupts from the ground, causing nearby students to scream and scatter. That rock thing, the student shouts. It's heading into the tavern. Um, and with that, this appears on the map. And everybody roll initiative. I can't see anything. Uh, well, I can't help you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Have you given her? Uh, Tin, you can't. Oh, oh, I see. You can't see anything on here. Oh, you got vision, and you got control of the token. Apparently, and my computer doesn't support it. Uh, well, I mean, you've used roll twenty before. Well, I can see the top half where the tokens are. I just can't see the rest of it. Oh no, that that yeah, that's all you're supposed to be able to see, because yeah, you're at the right. back of the Bozen Tavern at the minute. I'm putting in an orange a thing you're supposed to be killing. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing you're supposed to be killing. <laughs> Not last, uh, but get mixed up. Brett's got a one on his initiative. And 
dead. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, I need to move you down very slightly so I can get to the upturn button. <laughs> There we go. And then pop you back. <laughs> That's everybody on there, I think, isn't it? Oh, other than um, Charlotte. No, I've got seven. Seven, okay. Oh, again, I can't get it there. Okay, Toka, you're up first. This is the thing that's erupted out of the ground. Mm. Okay, I forget what I can do every single week that we start. Um, can I use a cunning action to hide? You yes. can. Um, I mean, this map isn't great for things to hide in, but you just said you're escaping around in the pool and stuff, so I assume the pool's there, that you can nip into the pool and hide. I poke my head over the top. Yeah. And then I want... Uh, but you, you do need to make a stealth roll to hide. Yeah, give me a second. But you don't have to be a lot. Um... Yep, yeah, easily hidden. I am invisible. Uh, yeah. And then I just want to shoot it with my bow. Go for it. So with advantage, because you're hidden. So easily hits. Yeah. Oh, same each okay. time. That's um, it. Do some damage. Okay. So you've done... There we go. Uh, make attack damage. That's just the regular damage, isn't it? So... That should be uh, 22 points of damage. Uh, yeah. But you notice it's not hurt it as much as you think it should have hurt it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the end of my turn then. And that's the end of your turn. Okay. That's right. I'm just going to launch a fireball at it then, please. Go for it. 18. That hits. Basic oh. five. Well, that does all go through. Excellent. Okay, and then... Bonus action, I'll create a cannon. Uh, yeah. Post the list there, please. Yeah, go for it. Fine. Uh, is that you done? That's me, thanks. Okay. Eerie. Eerie. Huh. He's gonna run away. Moving. Check it. <laughs> <laughs> A cash witch bolt at it. And go for it. Never mind. Eight will miss though, I'm afraid. Yeah. That's okay. my turn. That's you done. Okay. Uh, this creature will then advance upon you as you've walked forwards. <laughs> And we'll go to slam you. So on carrier 22. I uh, could I have bonus action raged? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Is it a 22 hit? Yeah. Great. Um, so that does. Oh, hang on. How far did it move? Well, you're going to take a bit more, but it's all halved. Okay. So this is going to be full damage first off. 2d6. So full would be 24 damage, but because you're raging, you can half that down to 12. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Uh, that's 
Yeah. Oh no, no, no! You've not done it. You are knocked prone. <laughs> and that's all it can do. So then it's Golgan. Oh. <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Would that count as melee range? Where are you? Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm on the yeah. diagonal. I just yeah. don't know if we... Sorry, K Kyle was uh, distracting me with waving his thing about in the air. Sorry, I'm trying to measure me on this tablet. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yes, that's melee range. You're fine. Okay, so... Inflict wounds. Mm-hmm. It'll blunder horribly. Um, if that's an eight to hit, yeah, that doesn't hit, I'm afraid. Does it do... No, it doesn't do anything if you miss, does it? Yeah. Agreed. Anything else? Hey, it's turn. No worries. Charlotte. Where am I? I'm over here. Mm. I'm over here. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I move here? Yeah, if that's 30 feet, yeah, each square's five foot, so it's the same as a normal map. It just says it's around the back of the Bozen Tavern, so that's the, yeah, that's where I've put you. <laughs> a blank white page might actually have been a bit better, to be honest, but hey, here we are. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my, uh, can I use Vicious Mockery? Yeah. Uh, I will do my so here. Yeah, allow me to turn you into a pile of rubble. It's just <coughs> Go for it. Cast it up so I know what I need to do. There we go. Wisdom 15 saving throw. Gets a 14, so just just loses. So it takes four psychic damage. That all goes through. And it'll have disadvantage on its next attack. Did I hurt its feelings? You did hurt its feelings. <laughs> and can I do my bonus action of Brad Inspiration and I will give it to whoever's after me? Yeah, uh, that'll be Brett. Yep. And then, yeah, Brett, it'll be your turn. Alrighty. I'm going to move five, ten. 20, 30 feet. Mm -hmm. It should be 30 at least. Oh, it's 25. Or an Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Uh, There we go. Yep, yeah, so first beam hits. In fact, first one was a crit, wasn't it? Oh, oh that's oh, uh -huh. that's not right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, on the D two hundred and three, yes, one hundred and twenty nine easily. Yes. I think that will kill. Yeah. <laughs> a D two hundred and three. Yeah. There we go. Oh, brilliant. So two, yeah, two good shots. First one's a crit. So first one double the damage, and second one do me the damage. And this will all go through. So that's the first one. First one? For real? Come on. 
Nice. For 24 force damage. Yeah, uh -huh. and it is now looking bloodied. Anything else? Yeah. Sorry, Brett, was that a no? That's my turn. That's your turn? Okay. Back to the top for Taka. Uh, I'm probably going to do exactly the same as I just did. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, again. Right? Do I need to roll one of the stealth check? You do, I'm afraid. You don't have reliable talent okay. just yet. But you don't need to beat a lot. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, you are hidden. Right. So, attack with advantage. Sweet. Definitely hits. Whoop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit delayed. Yes, um, you do hit. <laughs> so uh, it's the same damage as before, but again, you notice it's not like only about half of what your dealing has gone through. Mm. Okay. It's almost as if he is resisting the damage. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Where? Where, dude? Uh, anything else from you? Uh, no, nothing else. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's right. Okay, just the same again. Um, fireball, please. Yeah, huh? Yeah. That's a, that's a miss this time, I'm afraid. Okay, I've not got anything to use to top that up. Okay, bonus action, I'll fire my cannon, please. Yeah. Is there no action? Okay, um, does that get any plus to it? No. It doesn't? Oh, okay. No, no. Uh, and a, th a 13 then would miss. Let me just double check that, because I'm sure when I was playing an Artificer, there was a yeah, way I remember. to do it. Oh. <laughs> there we go, down the same. Um... What does it say? Right, okay. Just two seconds. Pause ballista. Range. Ah, so it's a ranged spell attack. So you do just spell modify, which is plus three, which would turn that into a hit. Okay, excellent. Mm hmm. And there's 10... Oh, that's the flamethrower. Um, I think the ballista does 2d6. Not 2d8, but... Oh, 2... Uh... There you go. Oh, yeah, it is 2d8. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just yeah, the 2d8's fine then. Yeah. I'll use the 10. Use the first one. <laughs> okay, and that all goes through again. Yeah, looking pretty poorly now. Anything else? No, that should be fine. Eerie. You're prone, remember? Stand up. <laughs> I felt when I raged, I forgot to do my wild magic surge. Oh, okay, yeah, do that now. <laughs> uh... It's the shadow tendril one. That lush. Okay. Lashes out for one damage. What? Yeah. Not, not one damage. Oh, okay, that, that's what that's, that's what the number. On. That's supposed to be the wild magic roll, the oh, table yeah. roll. I don't know why it said damage. Okay, no worries. Well, yeah, what, what does the tendrils do? Uh, he needs to do a constitution saving throw. Okay. That's a 15. That passes and nothing happens. Nothing happens, fair enough. Um... Try again. He's 
Resilience. Okay, and that's a plus one weapon, isn't it? That's a magical... Yeah. Whatever it is. Is it one handed or two handed? Two. So eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. All going through. My other attack. Might be enough to take it down. Hits again. Whack is yeah. bonkers. <laughs> any any particular way you want to do it. Uh stab it. Does it have eyes? In the eye. Sort of. In the eye socket. <laughs> where where its eyes should be. Hang on. There you go. It sort of has eyes. Okay. <laughs> He's so goopy. <laughs> okay, goopy. now that that's defeated, is there anything anybody wants to do? Um, just think for a second, because I want to turn the light on in here because it's dark. It went dark quickly. Well, then maybe you shouldn't let it be dark. Right, sorry, I'm back. Right. 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 Best to get the body. <laughs> you'll get your yeah, you'll get chance for, for rests and stuff before because things happen like days after. So uh yes, Kiri, if you're investigating the body, let me bring up the DCs you need. Um so if you have a look at it first off, I need a arcana check. Oh actually, sorry, you're looking at the looking at the body. Body. Ah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, the body is the body of something called a gallop door, which I sent you a picture of. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything else you would like to investigate? It's now just like a, a, a the body itself is a tumble of rocks. Sift through the rocks and have a look. There's, yeah, the, the, there's nothing more exciting. It is just rocks there. But there is there is something else you can investigate. I wanna run. Where did it came from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, yeah. Well, I did describe where it came from. I need, I need someone to actually sort of prove that they're paying attention to me and tell me what specific thing they want to investigate. Did they come from a hole? Uh, can I investigate the hole they came out of? It burst out through the ground. Yes, in response to something. The hole in the ground is just like... It's just oh, the... In, the in response to lightning wand. in the staff. Yeah. yeah. The wand! Hey! Hooray! <laughs> yeah, there eventually. Yes, if you some if somebody wants to investigate the wand, um, they need to make an arcana check. Um, I think it works. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, uh, so Brett, looking at the wand, um, it's it's actually a summoning device, um, and it's intended to work only once. Uh, if you can follow that up with an investigation check, that would be the same modifier. And yeah, any anybody else can do this as well if you fancy. That's a five. <laughs> Way. <Wait. laughs> Hooray! Golgan again. Golgan's on the ball. I'm so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Closer look at the wand reveals slimy remnants stuck into the wand's grooves. And then, then I need someone to follow that up with a nature check. Do I count as someone? And yeah. That's a 17. Hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, my luck ran out. Yay, I know something. Mm. So, uh, yeah, Brett and Kira uh, both recognise with that nature check that um, the slimy substance is algae, which you've seen before in the Witherblooms campus in Sedgemoor, where you went to go and um, get all those ingredients. I we should be investigating Witherbloom, because that's, that's the second... Point, yeah. Yeah. That's the second time now where weird stuff has been happening over there. First the stuff with the the uh Icker and now this. Mm. 
<laughs> that is true. Um, uh, the, the, get to the right bit. So we've done that. Mm. But first off, before you get too into investigating things, or I mean, you, you can do if you want to, but I don't think you'd find out too much. Sorry. I'm trying to get to the right bit. Uh, because you also need to find this book for this guy. Right. Um, after that, of course, like a couple of days can go past again, so you can all take a long rest if you want a long rest. Hooray! <clears throat> <laughs> Oh yeah, that has to happen first, doesn't it? Happy going finding this book for this guy? Yep. Book quest. <laughs> Books. <laughs> Books. <laughs> uh, so the, the scriptoria is in the basement of the biblioplex. So I've moved you over there for the minute because when you enter, um, I've just like popped you on the map so you've got the, the map as reference, but you don't need to worry about it too much. Um, you hear enthusiastic chanting and clapping. In the library's main area, students ring the eastern group of tables. Standing on them are familiar faces who look like they're about to burst into song. And you notice uh, Lus, Lobster and Boyle that uh, are about to... Uh... <laughs> and one of the other students runs up to you and goes, That's the other Mage Tower team. They're trying to steal your fans. Can I ask a question first? Yes. Is there supposed to be a corpse on the left? Uh, no, I probably left that in from last time you were here. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just that. wanted to make sure, because that's <laughs> yeah. something we would like to know. <laughs> yeah, probably an important thing to know if there's a body there on purpose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the janitors have been on strike. They've not, um, yeah, they, they've not cleaned up the mimic from last time. <laughs> yeah, no, the body's just there rotting. You can see the wood starting to peel away to bubbly. Wait. Worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to stop these hagglers? Because I'm pretty good at doing that. Yeah, we well, really just stop uh, the shouts over at you and goes, "Oh, look, everyone! If it isn't the big kids on campus, they think they're going to wipe the floor with us at the Battle of Strixhaven, don't they? Well, we've got something you... to say about that. We would you rather you wipe the thing off? <laughs> you could. Would you like me to wipe the floor with you now? Sting off. <laughs> We'll crush you in song before we crush you on the field. Uh, yes, uh, a sing-off. Someone like you choose amongst yourselves who wants to do it has to make a performance check, and you need to beat Luss's performance check. Other players can help to give you advantage. Your backup dancers. I volunteer. Yes. I volunteered the bard. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, maybe the bard should be doing this part. I'll do Luss's role so you know what you need to... Be? I can't play. Wait a minute. I can hold oh. prisoners so that they can't do anything. Oh uh. my god. And this is with advantage, so I'm crit fishing. <laughs> so whoever's doing it needs to beat 22. Oh Jesus. I can't, I can't play the game at the minute. How come? Um, I did long rest, it crashed, and then now I went back onto the character sheet. I, all my characters have been locked. Oh, oh was it, it lost the subscription on it? Yeah, but I got it back. Mm. And then it's done the thing again. Oh. Uh, well, get, I mean, you can make six available. I tried that, it's not letting me. Because it says... It still says unlimited for some reason. Mm. Try refreshing your browser. Uh... 
Don't think it exists, Charlotte. Uh, who's that one? Who's that one? Listen, I still can't use my character. Um, can I suggest you know? Mm hmm. Go for it. I need a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Okay. Twenty two got an at twenty. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, that's about Less all I can do. Fire today. <laughs> You've humiliated him one too many times. It, it wouldn't be fun if you didn't get the upper hand at least once. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do what about if, Charlotte. What if I just try to distract him? Hmm. Oh. Just go then, if we can't play. Well... I don't, I don't know how to help you. Uh, something I can do. I don't know why, why it's doing it. Oh, <laughs> you try with, um, bringing it up on your phone or something? Well, uh, I don't have one phone. Oh, okay. No, well, don't worry about Roll20, just your character sheet. And then okay. you know what the character can do, and then you can just do the dice rolls manually. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay. How many languages is Les singing in? Just common? Uh, yes, he would just be singing in common so everyone can understand him. Would I get a bonus if I sung in eight languages intermixedly? Well, no uh, one would be able to know what you were saying. Exactly, that's why it would be impressive. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, the best, I, it's a really good idea, but the best I can give you is advantage. I can take I can't advantage. I really give you double advantage. <laughs> I'll can, take advantage. Can I maybe help with that by, like, putting light on him to make it look all fancy? <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm trying to decide how we can get this to stack up. Like I say, it doesn't really go much higher than advantage. Um, Would it just be flat boosts? <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, for, for everything that's happening, you can have advantage and you can have double your modifier. Ooh, that's a plus six then. So there's a first roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking through my items. I've got a small rock, query magic. Will that do anything? <laughs> it it might do, but I yeah. I don't know how to use they've it. got too much now, I think. Okay, I will hold on to my rock. So tell you what, I will, like Brett's not done very That's well. That's a ten. Double my proficiency, boost that to sixteen. Sixteen. Even if I add in my talisman, that's a twenty. Mm. And so I don't other... think I have anything to boost my performance. No. I will let um... one more character. Do a performance okay. check. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, um, I got my back. Yay! Excellent. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Respond in the uh, in the song off. Uh, performance check with advantage. You need to be trying to be twenty two. Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh sh oh close. Oh you got advantage. Uh, Try again. Uh, I guess we did that get it? Was okay. oh. It's a 22. Yeah, yeah. You have 22. Yeah, um, meets it, beats it, as it, as, it, as it goes. <laughs> so yeah, it was a pretty intense sing-off battle, but you just managed to come out there victorious. Everybody's singing along with you. Um, and because you've won this sing-off during the Mage Tower game, you'll get advantage. Every player will get advantage on one ability check of their choice. Ooh. 
Yeah. And with that, the uh, the crowd scatters. The uh, reference librarians come and shoo them away, and uh, yeah, reminding Don't them of the edict to avoid tomfoolery in the biblioplex. I've got a plan. Oh, I'm gonna completely slander Lus in the Strixhaven Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely drag his name through the mud. He can't build a tower. He can't sing. What is he even good for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair to Lus, he can sing very well, just not quite as good as Charlotte. I mean, let's be honest. He got a crit. That's Valor. Valiant. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Hmm. Whatever okay. I was trying to say. I knew what you were meaning. I had a song. Hmm. Right. So we'll go go down to the scriptoria if you're ready. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Can everybody see and move? Uh, that check the movement. Yes. I think I, I think I've sussed it now. Like I've sorted Barry see, out, so I don't have to do it every single time. <laughs> yep. He's learning. Yep. He's learning. He's learning. We can move. You remember. <laughs> okay, as you make your way oh. down the winding staircase. Oh, sorry. Yep. No, I was just saying knowledge. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I thought you said dom. Knowledge. <laughs> yep. As you make your way down the winding staircase, the passage's gloom gives way to a warm light. The room before you is spacious and comfortable with gleaming bookcases, wide tables, luxurious chairs, an inviting lounge, and a hearth. Oil paintings of breathtaking landscapes and heroic spellcasters line the walls, and antique spherical astrolabes are proudly displayed along the northern wall. You're free to go wherever you would like to go and investigate whatever you would like to investigate. Can you remember the name of the book you're supposed to be looking for? I can. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't remember what I did the day before. <laughs> right. Shake your bed to the galaxy. <laughs> no, guys, we're in a magic school. We obviously have to look for Harry Potter. Mm. <laughs> mm. The All I know was... is that we're looking for a book. Yeah, the book was called Wheel or Woe, an Interpretive Sketch. Okay. What? Well, everyone split up. It was the book of the dead. <laughs> Book kisses. Mm -hmm. I got that one. Can I, can I search around the library for like rats or something? Uh, for rats, yeah. Um, I guess yeah. Uh, oh, you fancy speaking with animals? Yes. Yeah, that was my plan. Uh, yeah, like, yeah you guys evidence later. of um, yeah, there'll be mouse droppings, evidence of little library mice. Yeah. All Bookworms. Right. I'm Your wet glasses. They look very cute. Hit, uh, that one. Mm -hmm. So for ten minutes, I can speak with the rats. Yeah. So a little uh, a little library rat comes up to you and they're like, "Squeak." Hello, my friend. Hello. I have come in search of a book. Would you be able to assist me in locating it? Absolutely. The books are on the bookshelves. No. <laughs> I'm looking for a work. specific book by the name of whatever the name of the book we're looking for is. Wheel and Woe, an interpretive sketch. Wheel, yeah. I'm looking for that one. Ah. Unfortunately, as a rat, I'm limited by intelligence and cannot read. Ah, uh, <laughs> stellar. <laughs> Just I need you, uh, tell me what colour it's... Uh, the top here, I see is a librarian in the <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's, there's no orangutans around, I'm afraid. No, librarian. Oh. Ah, no, th this place is deserted at the minute. There, There isn't a librarian around. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to start looking normally then. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, same. I'm just going to look around where I am. Let me same just... here, so... Right. Actually, are there any signs around that's you know like that dictate you know this is the fiction section, this is the section on this, that kind of thing? In the Dewey all... Decimal System. Yeah, there is. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that organised, unfortunately. It's all non-fiction, oh. 
So it's it's a case of just having to search through. But everybody wants to spend at least um, an hour searching. Makes an investigation roll, please. Can I open my mind to magic awareness? <laughs> I can't uh, read. Can you, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, Kiri, what were you wanted to do? Magic awareness. As an action, you can open your mind, your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic within 60 feet of me. I've got um, to show that from the book. Yeah, yeah, I got. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I can't do. I can't do everything at once. I'm afraid, guys. Um, so, with a magical awareness, none of the books seem particularly magical in themselves, uh, but you do notice a type of magic. Just bear with me. Um, what type of magic is it that you're getting? It, you um you are getting some illusion magic coming from one of the astrolabes on the north wall but before you go and check that out uh dazrock as you were searching for a book you've found a couple of interesting books you have found the book you were looking for you found wheel or well excellent but also something else has stuck out at you, yeah. um, which is a book penned by Eric Quinthorn, which is about magical creatures. If you spend some time looking at this, um, you'll see um, a section jumps out at you uh, about a creature called Mage Hunters, which have been uh, which were previously discovered lurking off campus. In the um, Witherbloom area. Well, yeah, that's one the area. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and where's the other bit? This is it as well. And along with that, um, you also found a, a sort of autobiography from director Quinthorn. Uh, so that's the same person who wrote about the magical creatures. Um, and he describes in this a student that previously stood there uh, that was censored for repeatedly uh, breaking the university's bylaws and was expelled. Mm. Um, it states that the student left and never returned to campus, uh, but the name of the student is blacked out or illegible in all mentions. It's so not blacked out as their name, no? Yeah, the yeah the name's blacked out. You can't. It's illegible. You can't. You can't see the name of the student who was. Not that the name is like John blacked out. No. <laughs> the name of no. the name of that the how character. I it. Yeah. <laughs> the name of the character is. <laughs> yeah, the name of the character is. <laughs> Been redacted. Uh, so yeah, so you've got the book, and Kiri has noticed that there is uh, illusion magic coming from one of the astrolabes. Did you guys find it? Was it this astrolabe? Uh, astro, astro. Hang on, am That's... I that? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Um, and as you reach it to go and investigate a bit further, a groan echoes through the quiet room like metal grinding upon metal. You spot movement from the largest astrolabe along the north wall as the device's overlapping copper rings become lashing barbed tentacles. Uh, Whoa, what now? Another mimic. <laughs> it's not a mimic, actually. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I need to just pop it on the token layer. It's just labelled as an astrolabe, but it's not a mimic. Um, and yeah, everybody roll initiative. My curiosity got the better of them. <laughs> it would happen anyway, whatever happened, but yes. <laughs> for you in a minute when we've done this bit.
Am I missing anybody? Oh, just um, Brett. I'm a three. Who's got a three? Oh, you tried to subtract I from it this time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Okay, uh, so we start with Golgan. Yes. The astrolabe comes to life. See the massive five, claws ten, and tentacles. 15, 20, 25, 30. Pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, um. I'm going to dash for another 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Okay. Docker. Um. I want to run up to it and do I get um You'll get your sneak attack, attack damage, yeah, because you have an ally within five feet, but you don't have advantage on the attack roll. Because you're okay. not, like, hidden or anything. So just one roll, but I get the sneak attack. One roll, but you get the sneak attack. Yep. Oh. That's gonna, gonna be a miss, I'm afraid, yeah. I thought I just because I have to switch between windows. I'll just kick both at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's it. No, um, that's it. Can I use a cunning action to disengage? You can, yes. That's one of your cunning actions. So I moved like, I think ten foot. So I'm going to move fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and hide behind the bookcase. Go for it. I should have one more of these. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you are excused. Was... Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, right. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you've you used your cunning action to disengage, so you can't technically hide. No, it, that was just like, I'm just going behind the bookcase. That's right. Does it. Okay, just for a change, I'm going to cast a ray of frost. Go for it. Should have stuck the scotch in the way, but anyway. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a mess again, I'm afraid. Now, yeah, I'll create a ballista cannon again, please. Yeah, uh -huh. go for it. Okay. And that'll be Kiri's turn. I would like to arrange. Go for it. Remembering my old magic shirt system. Yeah. Magic infuses my weapon. My weapon becomes magical. <laughs> oh, I thought it was already magic. <laughs> it's already magic. It's even more magic. It's even more magic. It's doubly magical. <laughs> Extra special magical. Mm. Supercharged magical. <laughs> that is melee. Is that melee range? Yeah, yeah, that's melee range, yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's a mess, I'm sure. Shake and swing. This thing's tougher. That's a hit. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. <laughs> that's me. That's you. Okay. Then it's its turn. Uh, Carrie's already there, so it's going to be focusing everything on you. So first off, try to get you with its tail for a 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. For 10 bludgeonings at half to five. And then it tries to get you with its tentacles for a nine, which will miss. And then it's going to be Charlotte's turn. Uh, can I go on top of the desk? Uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing's stopping you doing yeah, that. that. This one. Mm-hmm. Not a very yeah, high desk. Going... We're going to do something. <laughs> so I am going to suggest to the little bird to duck. 
Um, he is a Phantasma Force. Okay. I think that's what it says. No good reading. <laughs> okay, so intelligence saving throw. It's probably going to fail. Oh no, wow! It critted. It has a minus three to its intelligence and it critted, so it got a 17 and passes. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That'll work. Um, what happens on a successful save? Because if this Nothing. is a spell rather than a cantrip, then Nothing. it might do something. Nothing at all. Nope. I've run this spell before. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, that uh, doesn't work. work. Uh, what's Nikki's character called again? Kiri. Uh, I'll take Kiri. Uh, Brad, uh, inspiration. Okay, uh, she's just whipped away from the computer, so a reminder of that in a second when she comes back. Uh, Brett? Last one. Yeah, that does hit. And the other is A19 as well. Yeah, they both hit then. Or 23. 23. Nice. Then as uh, a bonus... Bloodied, sort of. <laughs> yeah, go on. As a bonus action, I will use Two of my healing light dice on here. Okay. For five. Thanks. And then you also get two uh, temporary hit points, and Charlotte gave you inspiration. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, back to Golgan. Hey, let's take turn. Five, hey. ten, fifteen. And then it flicked wounds to Electric Boogaloo. Mm -hmm. Eclectic Boogaloo. Hey, that'll work. Yeah. So, 25 damage. Very nice. It's uh, very hurt now. Yay. Anything else? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tucker. Uh, I'm going to use the same again. Run up to it. Stab it. And then run away. Go for it. That's going to be a miss, I'm afraid. Yeah. Right. And then same again. Actually, uh, 5, 10, 50. Yeah, I should be able to... Do the same movement again. Yeah. That's yeah, right. that's all. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, Dad's rock. And I'll go back to firebolt this time, please. Mhm. Mm oh fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be a miss. Sorry. No. Okay. Bonus action. Or I've hit the wrong thing there. Sorry. That's okay. I'll fire my cannon, please. Yeah, so it's a, a D20 plus 3 for that. You said Force Ballista again, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if um, an 8's going to be a miss as well, sorry. I've got to say it. Mm. I'm just going to sit down and read the book. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, no, I'll just, I'll just stay here, that's fine. <laughs> okay, then on to Kiri. Oh. And yeah, you do have a bardic inspiration you can use.
I put Bardic onto that. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's a mess. Is it worth putting a Bardic onto that? Uh, Bardic Inspiration is D8, isn't it, at this point, from Charlotte? What? Is it? I don't know. Holic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it would have made it, but yeah, no, a, a, a 16 is still not enough, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's a 1d8 for a variety of That does hit. So armor oh, class is... And that's enough. That's yes. quite enough. Oh. So, yeah. Didn't have a lot of hit points, this thing. Um, it drops down. Uh, if anybody wants to do me a, a na quick nature check on it, I can tell you what it was. Hey, that's me. Brother! Go, squirrel boy! Yeah, it was a, uh, a Grick... Al... Uh, what was it? A Grick Alpha. alpha. Hmm. It might have a handout. No, it doesn't have a handout. Uh, but yeah, again, anyone who wants to investigate the scene, this is just the scene, um, like that you can like the body of this and everything as well. You can do a uh, perception or a survival check. <laughs> Golgan's uh, Golgan's on a roll. Golgan knows that this is. Uh, uh, well, to be, yeah. to be cause... fair, I do have a plus six. So. Yeah. <laughs> can I try perception? Uh, yeah, you can. I mean, uh, you just get the same information now, but you can feel free to roll if you fancy rolling. Um, so the yep. check of it you reveals the presence of more of that chipped chitin that you've also found on other creatures that you've fought over the last couple of weeks. Um, oh, and now can't... also, with the help of the book that Dazrock found before, um, you know that this chitin does come from a creature called a mage hunter. We might want to Calling report it. this to someone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that bit done. We'll be sort of moving into an exam next but there's something very important you have to do before the exam but if you don't tell me you're doing it i'm not going to apply it i'm reporting our information to the director of security uh, or yeah um, I'm Mavinda the sharp beat could be the best person to speak to really she'll um yeah she will uh th I'm... thank you for the information but say well we will uh We'll investigate this further. Don't forget you are just students here, and don't you have a game to prepare for? I'm I taking do. the book back. I'm taking the book back to the teacher who asked us to retrieve it because he said something about extra. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah. too. Yeah, that too. And um, that's Professor Blackstone. He, he does say thank you. Thank you for uh, the time you've saved me. I won't forget this. As promised, you'll get extra credit on the next exam. Was there anything else yeah. you wanted to say to Professor Blackstone? Um, I want to say that there's something weird going on at the Witherbloom campus. There was some ichor that we had to fix earlier, and now we're getting attacked there whenever we go. And all signs are currently pointing at something weird happening over there. Uh, yeah, Professor Blackstone will say, ah, ah yes, I see. Um, I'm sure I've seen some books down in the scriptorium myself about this sort of thing. I shall, uh, I shall investigate the books. Thank you for your information. And now to slander lust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, definitely. Um, and then we'll be moving into the augury exam. So we'll do the augury exam for everybody. And then the people who have failed previous exams will get those done. And then we can move on to the, the Battle of Strixhaven. Now, the good thing is, because you've given the guy the book, you cannot fail this exam. Oh, yay. So a fail becomes a pass, a pass becomes an ace. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's A. Just let me check. So if you fail, it becomes a pass. If you pass, it becomes an ace. If you ace the exam, 
um, it says you get three student dice instead of two, but nobody's been keeping track of their student dice at all. Um, I just so, have... yeah. so I'll just say you get inspiration. I never really understood the spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the only person who's had their spreadsheet open during you're, these You're the only one who's been paying the slightest bit of attention to anything. <laughs> well, I was paying attention, but then I had to reset my browser from an update, and I lost it, and I haven't been bothered. I had enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I did, but not anymore. Right. Okay, so... Um... For the exams, as before, um, I'm assuming you're all going to group study again, so you get an advantage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do yeah. You do that every time, so that makes sense to me. Um, so it's split into two parts. The first part is a history check, the second part is an insight check, but we'll do it in, in order if I bring up the... Uh, I miss having a second monitor. Okay, so Brett, you'll be up first. I'll need a history check followed by an insight check. You'll get advantage on one of those roles. Are we, we not... do our study roles first. Are we doing the study oh, roles yeah, first? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, it's not... It's Yeah, this isn't the best area I've got for being set up for everything. What are we I think, studying? I think we'll get this done and then we'll just... We'll, we'll call it for tonight. I'm using the plot. <laughs> <laughs> and the next bit's what? the yeah, the battle of strict saving thing. Uh okay. Right. So yes. What's so you the topic? To, that's it. Ah yeah, so you need to all right. Um just bear with me. Don't do anything just yet. I am doing things. Okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I do best. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. You um, figure out how to do your revision. Oh yeah, to your revision to see if you get a re-roll in the exam. That's it. So yes, do that first. Brett, your revision. What are you doing? What role are you making in the main role? I am yeah. So what are we? Re what exactly are we revising? Uh, this is wheels and woes. Um, the exam is the, uh, the, the, That explains why he won Augury, it. yeah, augury. So it's tools and methods of augury is the multiple choice, and interpreting wheels and woes is the essay. And I go... Can I do history to try to determine what inspired the writing of the book? Uh, so, like, figure yeah. out what his purpose in writing it was? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Ooh. Nice. You're correct, so you get a reroll. Okay, so uh, next will be Charlotte. You need to tell me how you're doing your revision, and then you get to then you make an ability check based on that. I'm still wondering what we're revising. Uh, what I just told Brett. Wheel and Woe, the book we just retrieved. Uh... Is it just like any, any of your skill point uh, checks? You, yeah, you, you and, tell yeah. me what sort of way you would like to revise. So a few of the examples it gives here. Um, you might make a history check to pour over your books. Another student might make a performance check to create a series of new <coughs> opinions, um, mnemonic devices, sorry. Uh, and a I've third student might hand make hand. a, yeah, exactly, sleight of hand uh, check to create reminding gestures or practice any physical components. So basically you just describe how you want to do it, pick an ability check that goes along with how you're doing it and make that roll. And then I tell you whether you got a new roll in the exam. 
Uh, can I do Florence? Because my best one. Yeah. Um... Just sing a little song. Yeah, just yeah, just do a performance role. So I think I was twenty-one steps. <laughs> yeah, that's why you get a re-roll in the exam uh, phase. Next is Dazrock. I'm just going to primarily focus on the magical element of it. Yeah. Was that an arcana check you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You get a reroll too. Okay, and then it'll be Golgan. Yes, one of them. Yeah, there. Funny, just so goody you gotta protect your booty. I was. <laughs> I was. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot what we're doing. Rewriting the book! We're doing the revision period for the oh. exam. So you Daddy. know, you tell me how you want to do the revision, and then you make a roll based on that. I have no idea. Nothing that I am good in would even remotely work. You can use anything. Yeah, anything would work. Yeah. You just got to come up. What do you want to use? Uh, perception or animal handling or survival. You could do animal handling. You could say that all the little squirrels in your squirrel army are helping you. Yeah, you... <laughs> they're holding the pages. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that one because it's funny. Yeah. What squirrel army, Dom? What do you <laughs> no, what, do no, no, what, what? No, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, twenty one will get you a reroll on that. That's fine. Uh, okay, uh, that'll be Kiri. I just want to read my textbooks. Ah, that's fine. Whichever. With history. With history? Go for it. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, you don't get a reroll. And last will be Tucker. So I normally do the hand puppets, but I want to still use sight of hand, but can anyone think of something that's not hand puppets? Finger puppets! Like... <laughs> it's, it's, uh, puppets. I can... <laughs> it's writing a book, right? Or is it yeah. studying? Yeah. yeah. Right. Or if it's writing... It's like a hand, you can yeah. just steal somebody else's notes and copy them. Hey! Oh, yeah! I'll, <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, I'll go for that. Or it's getting better at the hand movements. Oh. I just dropped pages everywhere. You did. Oh, um, I completely forgot. Because you were studying as a group, you get advantage on this roll, don't you? So, yeah, Kiri and Tucker, you can you can re-roll that because you're the ones that failed it. So, there you go. Tucker gets it on the second try, and Kiri gets it on the second try. Everybody gets a re-roll. Okay, so now now we'll do the exam session, and we'll just go back down in that order again because it seemed to work. So, Brett, you'll be up first. You get one re-roll. So, first off, I need a history check from you. So, history gives me a plus six. Nice, you have passed. Without, without even your modifier, you have passed the first section. Uh, the second section um, is an insight check. Insight is plus five. Yoosh. Well, Ooh. you won't be surprised to know that's not going to cut it. Well, what's your big fail? <laughs> yeah, even the plus eight, if I were to roll, math wouldn't be enough. But I do get a re-roll. Mm -hmm. You do get a re-roll. Nine. Uh, nine plus. Uh, roll math. Because I can use my, I can use my talisman for a plus four, plus working at the Strict Haven Star gives me a D four on insight. Yeah. So what we're we looking at? If then? I get a four, 
no, nope, that's the wrong section. So yeah, just the two D fours. I believe I need to roll fours on both. Is that D twenty just a straight D twenty, no modifier to it? Oh yeah, I forgot about the modifier. Modifier is a five, so fifteen. That thirty twenty. Yeah, yeah, that does it. So yes, you you have aced the exam, so you can give yourself inspiration. Woo. Okay, and next up it'll be Charlotte. So Charlotte, same from you that um, Brett just had to do. First off, I need a history check. Yeah, easily passed. Um, for the second part, I need an insight check. So that's not quite going to be enough, but you do have a reroll. There we go. Yeah, done it. So you have you have aced the exam as well, and you can give yourself inspiration. Sorry, I did that twice for accident. <laughs> no, it, well, you had the reroll, so that's fine. It, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> uh, okay, so Dazrock, you'll be up next. Uh, first off, is a history check. Sure. Oh, for God's sake! That's, I mean, that's insight. That would be the second part. I need, I need history off you first. But we'll see how you do with that. But we'll, yeah, we can always count that insight for the next one. You can reroll it. Okay, 13 is not going to be enough. Do you want to re-roll this, or do you want to re-roll the inside? No, I'll re-roll this one, then I... Yeah, it's plus three either way, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, God, see? No. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, yeah, no, normally you would have failed the exam, but luckily because you have returned the book to the teacher, you get the extra credit, so you have passed. Excellent. And next up will be Golgan. So history check first. We. That's a pass. Yay, you didn't fail. <laughs> Yay. Insight? Yeah, insight please next. Nice. So yeah, you have completely aced this one as well. So you get um, inspirational. And then now we'll to use to... it on something completely worthless. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kiri, you'll be up next. So, history check first. Yeah, easily passed. And then inside. Yeah, that passes too. So you don't even need your reroll. You have aced this exam and you'll get inspiration. And then last will be Toka. So history. Okay. Oh, I think I just yeah. Oh no, I didn't take no, it. No, you, yeah, you, next you, to it. you clicked it right and that's a pass. Okay, and what was the other one? Insight. Insight. Uh, oh. That's I not going to do it. You've got your reroll. Still not done it. Um, but uh, it because really you return matter. the book, yeah, you passed. So that means you um, end up acing the exam. You don't get inspiration because it's not like a full ace ace, but you count as acing the exam for to, um, for your student dice that you get. Okay, so that's that all done. Who's failed exams? Me. me, me. Yeah. So, who wants to go first, retaking a failed exam? I don't mind going first. Yeah, I don't know fine. what it was I'd need to roll for it, though. No, I, I can't remember which one you failed now. Uh, it wasn't the last. So it wasn't this one, obviously. It wasn't the last one. It was the one before that. It was the that. one before that. Yeah, just bear with me. I'll be able to find it. And I'm going to try and dig out this document in my downloads. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to do a thing with your sock puppets or however you want to do it, do that um, to see if you get a re-roll in it. Can say that other people will help you. Is it that Is one? It's in my drive. 
it's glyph of warning, isn't it? go I've got it right did you get a reroll yes so it's glyph of warding you need to do so first off is an investigation check yeah so you've definitely passed now which is always good uh, but next I need an arcana check off you if I can reroll yeah you can reroll that's not quite gonna do it no no no, but you have still passed, so luckily you don't need to do this again. Good. Right. And that was the only one you failed? Yes, it was, yes. Okay. Uh, so, Kiri, you failed the last one, didn't you? Yeah. So we'll do that now. Let me just bring it up. So the last one is symbol glyphs. Should I do the textbook? Yeah, you need to do the... your, your, your study and roll, yeah. See if you get a re-roll. Uh, I think you do for this. Do you get for this one? Oh no, that's the wrong one. What did you roll? Oh, 15. 15. Oh, not quite, but we'll assume people are helping you, so feel free to roll again with advantage. You're Ooh. not going to get a re-roll, I'm afraid. Uh, so this exam you did was symbol glyphs. So... Is it symbol glyphs? Or is that the one I've just done? No, yeah, it's symbol, symbol glyphs. So first off is an investigation roll. <coughs> Yay! <laughs> Second well, one. I didn't hear you over the dragon rolling for the crit. <laughs> ah. yeah, um, so, if, yeah, you've done the investigation. So, the second one's a persuasion roll. No, but you do have your re roll. Oh, no, you've used your re No, you've not used your re roll. Yeah. You, you, didn't, no, you didn't get a re roll. Get a re -roll. I didn't get a re roll. I'm having a nightmare tonight, so yes, I'm calling it after this. But you still passed, that's fine. Wonderful, you passed. Brett, were you the third one? No, Golgan was. Golgan. So, and this is the, it's the same one that Golgan didn't pass. It was the last one, wasn't it, Golgan? Yep, Investigation and Arcana. Oh, was it? I've got Investigation and Persuasion. For the last example. No, it was the same one that... Uh... The first person who went skipped. Oh, Taka, the same one that Taka. Yeah, Taka, because those two missed the same one. Oh. Right, go back to that one then. So, yeah, so uh, Golgan, if you want to do your studying first, however you want to do it, do that roll and do it with advantage, see if you get a reroll. Okay. I'm just going to do perception, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get your reroll. So then, yeah, for this one is, yeah, an investigation roll followed by an arcana roll. All right, right now? Yeah. And you'll get one reroll. So investigation is not going to be enough. Yay. Neither's Arcana, so you can re-roll one of those. Ish. <laughs> Golgan still failed, unfortunately. Oh, they, they're like your two worst things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> they're both zeros. <laughs> we'll get there. We, we've still got to the end of the year. You'll be fine. Uh, it's not uh, going to happen. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> and you all last speaking, you've got, you've got a one in four chance of doing it. You underestimate how many times I've lost one in four. <laughs> and you guys made fun of me for stacking my mental stats. Mm. Meanwhile, I've aced two tests in a row. Yeah. Nerd. Uh, but yeah, I, like, I'm really struggling not having a second monitor and having a 
got anything with me. So I'm going to call it there and we'll do the battle for, um, the yeah, the battle for Strixhaven, the game of Mage Tower next time. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, it's a short session, but yeah, like I say, it's been a bit blah. <laughs> bye bye. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. I can't remember how to exit the call. <laughs>